Hey guys, it's Travis, the Pagan Scholar. Um, I'm outside right now in uh, Marshall's backyard. There might be some dogs barking, but anyways. There isn't a lot of space inside for me because I have moved, at least the first part of moving. Well, my lease was up, I moved, and then I'm in Marshall's house, and then on the 20th we'll be moving into our apartment together. Speaking of Marshall, super exciting, Marshall started his own channel. It's called The Pagan Palette. I'll put a link down in the description bar, and you guys should really check it out. Uh, he's only got one video up so far, but it, with more encouragement, I'm sure that he would make more videos. And guys, his cooking is amazing. Uh, he, he keeps me fed, <laughs> and um, definitely, you should really go check out the video. It's uh, pretty, it's concise. I mean, I could do it, and I, I burn water. I cannot do anything in the kitchen, so super exciting. Definitely go check that out. While I have been packing and moving and, and you know, trying not to be depressed about that, um, I haven't been able to make a lot of videos. However, I have been reading. And so I'll show you what I've been reading and what videos will be coming, forthcoming videos. So recently I purchased The Neo Pagans, a biography of Rupert Brooke. It's really interesting. It's the first half of the book, it's like, awesome, this is great. The second half of the book is like, wow, you're an asshole. So, <laughs> but anyways, um, super interesting read. It, it uh, goes into the romantics, um, the, the Bloomsbury group, uh, the intellectual circle that was formed and uh, really thrived just before World War II, or World War I. I'll, I'll dig into this deeper later. So, Rupert Brooke, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the, it's, it's by Paul Delaney, and yeah. I'm Rupert Brooke, and I'm a douchebag. Secondly, this is going to sound like nonsense, but it's not. <clears throat> um, I'm reading a book by Adam Ardry, and it is Finding Merlin. Now, I am usually... I I'm not a fan of... Uh, that's not true. I, I, I like the Arthurian legends. They're, they're fun. However... <sighs> When people start talking about Merlin, it's kind of like, kind of like talking about Jesus, as if a, any book about a historical figure that is apocryphal, that doesn't have like a concrete, this is who this person was in history, it's, yeah, the reason why I like this book is um, I'm about halfway through it, or a, a third of the way through it, it just talks about the context of when Merlin would have been, um, around 650, a, common era, there we go, AD, CE, take your pick, and uh, it talks about the culture, um, who the druids were as a class within a society, um, the history of Britain, how the Angles invaded, and how, you know, it's, it's great, the Anglos, Anglo? Anyways, you're definitely going to be getting a review of this, I really like it, it's a very fast, easy read. Ah, uh, the ambience of garbage trucks. Anyways, um... Where was I? Um, as a compendium to that, I purchased an abridged The Romance of King Arthur. It's an abridged version of Le Mort d'Arthur by um, Sir uh, Thomas Mallory. Um, abridged. This is abridged because the original is like eight books. Anyways, you totally saw my cigarette. You weren't supposed to see that. Anyways, I got this at my recycled books or at my um, yeah recycled books for $15, so that's a bargain. Anyways, and also it came with this inside. That's so great. Anyway, but ironically enough, that's actually not about any of the Arthurian figures. That's actually uh, Norse. Uh, that's Wotan, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe Coco the Spooky Librarian would know. Um, but it's also got these lovely, lovely illustrations in it. It's just, it's a nice, hefty, strong book. And I like it. I feel like I'm holding a tome in my hand when I'm reading this. Anyways, funnily, funnily, interestingly enough, um, the, the cover photo is uh, not... King Arthur slaying a dragon, but that's actually Sir Lancelot. Who'd have known? I didn't. All right, guys. Um, that's all the time that I've got right now. I, well, I, I'm, I'm not gonna pack anymore today. <laughs>
it really wore me out uh, the past couple of days, uh, all the packing, and it was it was an emotional couple of days. So until I get the next video up, um, you can enjoy the scenery of the backyard. It's actually really pretty. It's a lovely, lovely first day of October, and yeah. All right, guys, go subscribe to Marshall's channel. It's amazing. It's fantastic, and it gives him an excuse to make really awesome food for me to eat. <laughs> All right, as always, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again.